welcome back guys uh, this is mother pvl and today we are going to discuss about the constraints on the specialization and generalization so basically what is meant by a constraint constraint is nothing but a principle or a rule which we can just uh, obtain in some uh, ob- obtain in for a particular reason so constraint is nothing but a rule or a principle which we will use for the purpose of this uh, e- er diagrams so basically there are three types of constraints there are membership constraint and then uh, disjointness constraint and then completeness constraint and in this membership constraint we have two types they are attribute defined and then user defined so let us now know about this membership constraint first so to know about this membership constraint we need to just know about this with an example so basically membership constraint the way or the way we represents the er diagram should differ uh, if we need to just uh, show it very clearly so if we need to show a particular er diagram very clearly then there should be some principles for a better purpose so the membership constraint will just provide us the attribute defined so your attribute defined as nothing but here we can just say like if a person enters into a website and then if we need to just enter some data so there uh, after entering one data then he can just uh, get escaped from another question so here we can just say like uh, if we just consider this example so if we just get into a student or a teacher portal so if we just enter our age then it will just decide whether it is a teacher or a student Uh, actually this is not a good example so we can just consider another example like if we just get into a movie theater if we just buy a ticket then he will just ask for the age if you are just going for an a certificate movie then we should be uh, above 18 so if you are above 18 then we are eligible for watching the movie otherwise we are not eligible so for this reason with the help of this thing we can just uh, complete this uh, transaction we can just uh, buy the ticket we can just pass that situation with the help of this attribute so here the attribute is age so this is attribute defined in this membership constraint if the age is about 20 we can consider for being a teacher else still a student so this can be considered as one of the example but we can just consider the example of a movie theater it would be fine so the user defined as nothing but here if we just consider this employee so in the case of employee there will be only two parts that is full time and then part time so we can just say like in some companies they will just they will just announce like we are uh, out of funds they are not unable to uh, give more money for their employees so they will just give a chance for the employee to work as a both uh, full time or part time or else he can just work on a full time or only in part time so he will get the choice so he can just work as a full time or part time or he can just work both so whatever it is required the decision should be made by the user here the user is the employee so user defined is nothing but the decision is made by the user so in the situation employee will make a decision to just work as a full time or a part time here the company doesn't have enough funds to uh, run so it gave a decision to the employee to choose the type of a job so this is a user uh, defined in this uh, membership constraint and then the next one is disjointness constraint so disjoints uh, uh one second so disjointness constraint consists of disjoint and overlapping so there will be both in this disjoint and overlapping in disjointness constraint so what is disjointness constraint so for this also we will just get an example so here employee will have a only a chance to just work as a full time or part time so he will have only one chance he, he shouldn't work as a both full time and part time so here disjoint this is the symbol which we will just represent for the purpose of this disjoint defined in this disjointness constraint so he can just work as a full time or he can just work as a part time he can't work both of them in this disjointness constraint so here the employee has to work only either as a full time or a part time if we just use this disjoint symbol in this both so here the overlapping is nothing but he can just work as both full time or part time like we can just say like after the working hours of this uh, company has been completed then he can just work as a part time for a outsourcing for another company with the help of this company he can just work as an outsource for another company so this is overlapping overlapping is nothing but he can just work on both but 
here the thing the difference between this overlapping and the user defined is user defined as a choice so the choice will be given to the user so he can just choose either full time or either part time or either he can just work on both but here if he just coming to this overlapping he need to just work on both compulsorily he need to work as a full time he need to work as a part time to get his a salary so here the overlapping and the uh, user defined will have a small change like in this the employee should work as both full time and part time here there is a no choice for the employee to work as only one thing so this is about uh, overlapping and then the last one is this completeness constraint so completeness constraint has total generalization and then partial generalization so what is this so let us just know about this completeness constraint here we should here the main entity should be in any one of the entity so we can just say like uh, the student should be a pro post graduate or undergraduate so student can be a post graduate or he can be an undergraduate here the main entity should be any one of the entity so here this is a main entity so with this the student entity will be ended with after this there will not be any relationship right so student can be either post graduate or undergraduate so this is a main entity so with this the relationship is completed so this is a total and then this optional that is nothing but the thing uh, uh, optional is nothing but the ma we can just say like a uh, university member can be staff or a student in staff they will be divided so staff will be uh, something like uh, the staff who work for the students who will teach who will manage people who will work for hostel so there will be sub branches in the staff so here if we just come to the student here we can just see student can be either post graduate or undergrad so he can be uh, in this both if we just consider this main entity so completeness constraint is nothing but uh, this is a main one which is a total consideration and this is partial generalization so partial is nothing but a part so after this there will be some more things which we need to just define so this is all about the completeness constraint so this is overall about the constraints on specialization and generalization this is not a big thing we we just uh, understand it if we, this is just a very general topic so thank you for watching uh, works after college guys please subscribe to my channel